Hi guys, Pasay Baller here. Uh, we'll be talking about this game, Manila Classico, Magnolia going up against, of course, Hinebra, Barangay Hinebra. Uh, this will be at 4.35 p.m. Uh, in Ares, Pasig. Again, 4.35 p.m., Magnolia going up against Hinebra. Before we start, I'm just inviting everyone, yung mga hindi pa nakaka-subscribe dyan, please hit on the subscribe button below. At the same time, click nyo na rin yung uh, bell logo para matik pagka meron tayong bagong video, you guys will receive notifications. Alright? Uh, ito yung isa sa mga pinakaabangan sa PBA kapag, uh, you know, regular season. Ito yung isa sa mga games na umpisa pa lang inaantay natin. Inaalam na kung ano yung date, diba? Manila Classico, Magnolia going, going up against Ginebra. Um, toss ko yung lagi ito eh, you know? Any team, I mean, this this game can, can go either way. Alright? Uh, Magnolia, uh, they're having a very good start with two wins and no defeats. While Barangay Hinebra, they just had their first win uh, that was against uh, Blackwater Bossing. So, 2-0 ang Magnolia, 1-1 naman yung Barangay Hinebra. So, both teams coming off uh, wins naman. Diba? Magnolia, ang pinaka bago nilang panalo was against uh, Alaska. That was a buzzer beater basket ni Ian Sanggalang. Tapos yung Hinebra naman, they defeated uh, Blackwater Bossing by, uh, I think, around 15 points or 17, something around that. So, I checked on the spread on this. Uh, the spread is minus 3 in favor of Magnolia. Um, I think that's just, um, that's just fair. Kasi, for me, chinek nila dyan yung ano eh. Normally, tin tinitignan ko, Barangay Hinebra talaga dyan yung may minus. But in this case, since, Bar since Magnolia is having a better record against uh, Barangay Hinebra, I think this is just fair that Magnolia is having that minus 3 spread. Okay? So, sa Magnolia, sino bang uh, gumagawa dyan uh, lately? Um, uh, for me, the top 3 dito sa Magnolia uh, na talagang, um, for me, kailangan na Magnolia tong tatlong tong gumawa may it be in offense and defense para matalo ang uh, Hinebra uh, that will be of course Paul Lee siya yung gumawa ng uh, assist papunta kay Sanggalang dun sa panalang against Alaska Calvin Abueva of course his defense his pesky defense mga rebounding niya at mga scoring niya nagtitress na nga rin si Calvin eh. Nakaka nakadalawa ata to against Alaska mga putback baskets niya free throws uh, free throws yang ganda na rin and of course Ian Sanggalang Ian Sanggalang is playing that old school type of uh, big na poposte a head and shoulder fake uh, kukuha ng uh, end one so itong tatlong to kailangan ng Magnolia na present tong lahat ng tatlong to and if so Barangay Hinebra should be in trouble I'm not saying yun lang kailangan ng Magnolia of course uh, those three would need uh other support. Diba? Andyan din si uh, Baroka. Diba? Andyan din si Rives. Pa pero itong tatlong to, kapag yung tatlong to, eh, ang ganda ng lahat sila, like uh, around uh, 12 points or more. Tapos so, may rebound pa sa Sanggalang at Abueva. Man, uh, Magnol is gonna be a tough team to handle. Now, for Barangay Hinebra, ang mapapansin naman ninyo, uh, kung napanood ninyo yung laban nila against Blackwater Bossing, nahabol pa sila, ba? Diba? Um, I think bumaba yung tumabla ba? Hindi ko matandaan pero natatandaan ko parang 19 na yung lamang and then naligo lang ata ako noon or kumain and then pagkabalik ko parang dalawa na lang yung lamang pa start ng fourth quarter so I'm not I'm not really sure kung medyo nag-relax ang Hinebra doon or talagang uh, medyo flat pa yung Hinebra uh, sa, sa, sa mga laro nila kasi again I mean no disrespect sa Blackwater Bossing, it, isa to sa mga may medyo mababa ang records ngayon. 0-3 na yung Blackwater, diba? So, uh, but, um, barang Hinebra showed na okay naman na, okay naman din na din, diba? Tinambaka na rin naman nila sa bandang dulo. But, um, I guess, what what was showed there was uh, a little bit of inconsistency pa, diba? Uh, kailangan, for me, yung mga ganitong, mga ganong uri ng laban, especially with the type of uh, caliber na meron ng Hinebra, Eh, third quarter pa lang kung baga tapos na yung laro, if you know what I'm saying. Kaso ito, nakabalik pa, naka two points pa, yung two points na lamang, tarang isa na nga lang ata o tabla. Ganun, ganun, ganun kalapit yung nagawa ng Blackwater bossing. Uh, so, for me, uh, Barangay Hinebra should actually veer away from uh, those types of games. Um, regardless kung Blackwater bossing ba yun kung ano, kasi 
again, this is basketball, you know? Anything can happen, di ba? Um, for me, yung Barangay Hinebra naman yung kung ako nag-mention ng tatlong uh, dapat gumawa sa Magnolia, may, ang, ang pipiling ko naman sa Magnolia would be number one, Scotty Thompson. Scotty Thompson, siya yung uh, nagtitimon minsan, lalo na, lalo na pagka fast break. Uh, rebound sa kanya, sa siya na magbababa, siya pa mag-lay up. O kaya naman, kung hindi naman lay up, dahil maganda depensa sa kanya, maganda sa lubong, ina-drop niya yun for an assist. So, that's number one. Scotty Thompson. Number two is Japheth Aguilar. So, si Japheth Aguilar, uh, paminsan-minsan lang din yan, di naman siya yung talagang binibigyan ng... Naro pa, ng, ng, ng bola para okay mag one on one ka dyan lumupos ka no? uh, Jabet Aguilar is actually uh, setting uh, setting screens diba nagpo-put back siya dyan looking for rebounds but Jabet Aguilar would really need to show his defense especially yung minensyon ko kanina sa kabila Ian Sanggalang he would need to defend Ian Sanggalang and he would need to manage Ian Sanggalang's uh, offense Um, and then yung sa, sa rebounding din diba? Gang rebounding yung kailangan ng Hinebred dito If possible And then yung pangatlong pipiliin ko dito Mahirap diba? Marami kasi magpipiliin ka dito sa Hinebra Sa totoo lang But um, I will go with um, I will go with uh, Christian Stan Hardinger um, Gusto ko sanong piliin si uh, Pringle Pero si CS ang pipiliin ko dito Yung top 3 Again Uh, sinasabi ko naman, di ko sinasabing hindi na kailangan gumawa ni Pringle, ni Tenorio Pero itong tatlong to, kapag ito gumawa Kasi uh, Christian St St. Hardinger could actually dominate the rebounds And kung makikita nyo, pinili ko sa Hinebra Merong Christian, merong Japheth And sa kabila, ano yon yung dalawang baste Ian Sangalang and Calvin Nabueva Those two, napakasipag na rebounders nun Napakahustlers itong mga to At ganoon din sa Hinebra So magbabanggaan yan sa rebounding So tignan natin uh, For me, napakalaking bagay ng rebounding sa game na to I think it could even dictate as to who's gonna win Alright, so um, Looking at the Again, looking at the minus I mean the spread Minus 3 ang, ang Magnolia Ang hirap, ang hirap. Kagaya na sinabi ko kanina bago pa ako magbigay uh, ng opinions ko dito. Um, anything can happen. You know, Magnolia can win, Hinebra can win. Ganun to. Ganun ka tindi itong pagka Manila Classico. Uh, so, in that case, I will just go with the plus. Okay? Um, I will just go with um, the plus of Barangay Hinebra. So, uh, my pick on this one would be Barangay Hinebra plus 3. I think uh, CS, uh, meron pang natitirang momentum dyan kay San Hardinger. Kitang-kita ko yung uh, momentum ni CS doon sa mga rebound, putbacks, and ones niya. Um, if Christian San, Har San Hardinger can actually bring it to that game against Magnolia, um, he can actually get you know a couple of fouls here and there from Calvin and from uh, Ian. And uh, again, yun yung asahan ng Magnolia. Eh. So, kung, kung mapa-foul trouble si Calvin... Uh, o kaya si Ian O kaya si Rivis Courtesy of those two that I mentioned Sa Hinebra, Japheth and Christian uh, Magnolia can also be in trouble Again, pero so, again Sobrang ano na, so, sobrang dikita Sobrang di ko malaman halos Kung sino pipili ko dito Now again, in that case I will just be picking the plus I think Barangay Hinebra will get this one uh, With the plus 3 Alright, my pick on this one Would be Barangay Hinebra San Miguel Plus 3 Stick around for the third and the last game Peace out Pass I love and God bless.